All right, everybody, good morning and welcome to the week. How are you guys doing? Let's take a look at the messages that want to come through for you this morning. There is a lot going on this week. We have uh, Saturn going retrograde in Pisces, and we have a new moon in Gemini, 26 degrees Gemini. So any of you who have planets at 26 degrees, 27 degrees, 25 degrees, um, right, right around it, especially your moon. I have my moon at 27 degrees Gemini, super impacted by this new moon in Gemini. And we'll get into that a little bit in this reading. Um, I will do more as the week goes on for both of these things. If you want to ask questions about your own astrological birth chart or anything, um, astrology, if you want to learn, Okay, I have a birth chart mastery mentorship. There's a link in the description box below. We meet every other Thursday. And Pathfinders and Ascension Group this week, we are going to be talking about twin flame and soulmate, um, finding your soulmate in your birth chart. Okay, so if you want to jump on, that's part two. I started talking about it last week, but there's so much to it that we're going to keep going with it. Maybe for a couple of weeks. All right. So all that stuff in the description box below. If you're new here, welcome in, poised, right on the brink. Never ending story, she looks frustrated there. And co-create. All right, so I think some of you who are trying to push something forward, I'm not gonna say an agenda, that feels a little bit too mm, negative to me, but you have something that you want to happen or you're trying to manifest, I feel like you need another person. And what I mean by that is I feel like if you're trying to co if you're trying to create a relationship very in one-sided fashion, I just feel like the the new moon in, in Gemini is a chance for a lot of communication, okay? It can open up communication um, to what you really want. And if you have been kind of in a place for a long time of manifesting just on your own, not that you okay. <clears throat> It's not that you need another person. Relationships are a mirror of our own inner life. Our relationships shine a mirror on things that we want to or don't want, mostly don't want to see about ourselves and helps us move forward. Um, <clears throat> the lesson right now or what's being asked of us is to learn how to co-create with our partners with our love relationships, with, of any kind, with our soulmate contracts. We're learning how to co-create from that space. So some of you may be pushing against um, what a relationship is or is not, right? Something you want it to be or something you don't want it to be. Some of you could be really pushing against that. And it's sort of like, I feel like there's more power in just kind of going, well, this is what this relationship is. Not to say that it can't grow into something else or it can't create something new. But if you're resisting what it is right now, that might be um, something that's blocking you from manifesting. And as we get into a new moon in Gemini, you really wanna have your story straight, clear, clear manifesting. If you're kind of like telling the universe or saying to the universe like a bunch of like garbled messages because you don't really know what you want, or if you do know what you want, um, not taking into account somebody else's um, needs, wishes, desires, or free will. If you're not taking those things to, into account, basically saying, here's a little manifesting tip, little gadgety thing that I like to do. <laughs> I don't know if it's gadgety, but whatever. That's the word that came out. Um, when you're manifesting, first of all, manifest from a place of gratitude to what you already have. And second of all, when you close the prayer of manifesting, always say this or something better. This or something better, because it's possible that if you're trying to manifest a relationship with a person and what need, what is on the path is something greater than even what you're imagining, even if you're imagining like this amazing love relationship and stuff, what could be on the path is something even greater than what you can currently think of there are more there are more in heaven and earth horatio than are dreamt of in our philosophy okay got a big spiritual on that one 
So Queen of Pentacles, I keep seeing this Ten of Swords. I'm going to dive into it a little bit in this reading. The Queen of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So this is about a relationship that may have ended because of lies or subterfuge or something, something that went down that wasn't straight up communication. One person felt taken advantage of, one person felt the other one was being high handed or um, full of themselves or how dare you like call me on my own BS, like a little bit like that. I feel like there's an apology coming. There's a detente and I just feel like you're on the brink of manifesting something really beautiful. Even though you think in your current mindset that, oh, well, there's there's no coming back from this or this is ended or something like that. Like I can't even. Um, Emperor, two of swords, the knight of swords, six of wands. Seven of Cups, Tower, woo! Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, King of Swords. Wow. All right, so <laughs> somebody here clearly doesn't want to talk. It could be because it ended badly in the past. And the other person is kind of confused about why. Why did this end so badly? I almost feel like the person that isn't talking or doesn't want to talk may feel out of control. There might be a real battle here um, if you have a conversation. Like this is like a walking on eggshells kind of feeling to me. And I just kind of feel like it would behoove you. It would be good for us to see things eye to eye. I like this combination, the Hierophant and the King of Swords. It's like... We both know where we stand. We both know where we stand. And I don't think that's true before the tower. Okay. So this could, this could be the same. I mean, hold on. So tower energy here. Queen of cups, moon, star, king of wands. Okay. So... You get a lot of strong energy here. You have a lot of feminine energy. I feel like what's going on is both of you kind of are vulnerable to each other because of how much you feel for each other, because there's a sense of love already. And somebody was betrayed. There was definitely some betrayal here and there is a chance to make up. Okay, there is a chance to make up right now. And it could be happening uh, between now and July. This is the Seven of Cups. Um, I feel like somebody said something out of fear or out of um, unhealed, uh, being in a not a healed place about being controlling. This person who doesn't want to talk right now or who isn't talking, if that is breached, if someone says, listen, I just really don't understand what happened here. Then there's going to be boom. Then there's going to be this like blast. Okay. I do think it works out and we'll go deeper into the, this in the extended, but there's lots of, lots of stuff to clear in this relationship. Lots of stuff. I feel like if, you know, this is a walking on eggshells experience. And if you don't, and if you run afoul of this person, they're going to let you have it. Page of swords, eight of wands. Yeah, four of swords and the three of wands. It's going to be a healing experience, though. It's not going to be one that drives you further apart. This is going to be something that can bring you closer together so you can see eye to eye. Um, I feel like there's feelings. One of you may have shared feelings that were too abrupt or too direct or too, and I don't mean like, I love you. I don't mean that. I just mean like a sense of this is how I feel about what you said to me or what you did to me or something like that. And it's almost like, you know how, okay. You know how on the playground, the first kid to take a punch, to throw a punch, 
It's not that kid that gets in trouble. It's the kid that throws the punch back, that retaliates. That's the one that the teacher sees, is the kid that throws the punch back. So I feel like there was a thing that happened and there's there's a, a sense of like, I'm not gonna talk about this. I don't know why I'm talking about punches, but I just I just feel like there's a sense of like, if you if you go down this road, I'm gonna give it to you with both barrels. And I think the the key here is to not retaliate. Okay. I think what they have to say or what you have to say is valid. It is based on fear and that stuff does need to be healed, but it needs to come out. This thing needs to be said. All right. This needs to be said for us to move forward and get healed Four of swords and the star card for us to move forward and get healed. This has got to be said. We can't hold on to this anymore. We can't hold on to this argument or we can't hold on to this lie or whatever it was. But there was just a sense of like somebody got jabbed and then just shut down. And the other person is like, why are you shutting down? Why are you shutting down? I don't know that if you're the one who's not shut down and trying to poke at this person, I don't know that you know that this person had such strong feelings about what was said or what was done. Okay, nine of wands. I mean, them shutting you off is a pretty good indication. But it's also coming from a trigger. It's not all you is what my point is. It's not all you. So nine of cups, four of wands, eight of swords, and the four of pentacles. I feel like this is a connection that has a lot of good stuff to it. This is worth it. It's worth poking the stick at this person and taking the blast furnace in the face uh, to have this conversation. Um, I am seeing that there will be communication. There will be healing communication. So you guys can finally move on from this. One of you who blasted uh, or who was going to blast is blasting out of a trigger. So if you go back to a person who shut down and they blast you and you're still kind of like, it doesn't seem like that big a deal. They're coming at it from a trigger space. Okay. If you come back to this person and, or you're the one who's like, no, I don't want to talk. And you're the one who blasts. Consider the fact, consider the fact, consider the, opportunity that this affords you, that you will be uncovering a major trigger point, which is a strong, strong indicator of healing is needed. So this summer on this channel and, and with my with my peeps, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot more about healing. OK, so it's one thing we get the um, the awareness when I do readings and stuff, you get those aha moments or you get, wow, that really resonated for me or wow, that's something that I do see about myself and I want to work on. Like now what? OK, so we're going to be uh, unveiling some um, healing. I don't know what I want to call it. It's a program. All right. We have come up with. Uh, all of the things that I have talked about on this channel from third party situations to um, uh, twin flame journey to, you know, blocks for money, blocks for love, all of these things, we are going to be working that in this program. We are going to be helping you to uncover and unveil those things. If you have all y'all are a lot of you are my Pathfinder group. I'm going to be talking about this this week. If any of you have situations that you feel are really stuck, like you don't know what's the next step. You don't even know what the thing is. You just know that this is not working in your life. This shit's not working. Okay. Drop me a comment below. I want to know what's going on with you guys so that I can create, um, you know, healing meditations, sound healing, um, guided journeys with my friend, Jen Huber, the shaman, you know, any kind of change your story, change your life. That's really my healing. Um, you know, any kind of tapes that are playing in your head, any kind of triggers, shadow work, things like that. We're going to be doing all of that. And I want to invite you to, um, when I, when we, when we roll it out, you'll know <laughs> pathfinders, you're probably gonna be the first to know. Um, but you'll know because we are now moving from just a state of awareness into something that can help. Okay. That can do something. And, um, I want to say that this feels to me like there's a sense of 
hey, this is worth this is really worth my time and effort to do my healing work. And so now I'm going to do it. I think that that's what's being learned here between the two of you. Um, this could have some twin flame overtones. There's definitely some kind of control uh, dynamic going on in this. What childhood patterns show up? What kind of fear is being stoked here by this, by this, um, uh, hey, this was going really well and then it went off sideways. All right. So how can I, how can I work on this going forward? I'm going to talk in the extend in the extended more about the timing and the messages. I'm going to talk about feelings for each other. If this is your situation, how do they really feel about you? We're going to go deep into that. This Gemini uh, new moon in um, the Gemini new moon, 26 degrees Gemini. If you have your moon or any planet at 26, 27, 25 degrees Gemini, it's activated. And we'll talk about that in the extended. I will also talk about, um, the other signs that are really impacted by this new moon, all the mutable signs. So Gemini and Sag, Pisces and Virgo, really impacted by these by this new moon. All right, so we'll get into that in the extended. I will see you there. And also in the Ascension Group and Pathfinders this week, we'll be talking about all this stuff. All right, links are below. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.